Hey, what's up, people of the internet? It's Gabriel and welcome to Word. September is next month, and a lot of people are contemplating on which program to choose to study because it's really necessary when it comes to, you know, the type of work you would want to do in the future. So a lot of people out there are actually thinking of doing medicine, but in today's video, as my thumbnail has said, I am here to talk about the hard truth. And so before I speak about the truth, all I'm asking from you is to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, leave a like as well as a comment in the comment section. Now let's get straight into it. Unlike different countries where brilliant students actually pick up the technology programs in the university, my country leaves the medicine for the brilliant students. Well, in my opinion, everybody can do medicine only if they can adhere to the following instructions I'm about to give. So, before you choose medicine, you have to really think about the future because it's something that you are, I mean, marrying to for life. Imagine how long you'll be studying for. So, if you are someone who wants to marry quickly, give birth, and I mean, make family, I don't think medicine is the right thing because you have to then do it while schooling. So, to tell you guys about the truth, which I'm going to do in front of my camera, you know, medicine is no longer like it used to be, you know. When you immediately complete school, you have your job readily available for you and all those stuff. And gone were the days where every medical student is actually considered the same. Well, they will tell you at the university that, you know, we are not in competition, you know, we are not looking for the best out of the best. I mean, when you graduate, you don't give you marks or score. But at the end of the day, on field, it's competition. Well, imagine going for an interview, well. To work which you definitely have to apply i mean these days you don't sit at home and then you get posted you have to apply you go for the interview and they'll ask you how well are you conversant with microsoft excel that means you have to add that to the fact that you are studying a whole lot of books that you cannot even remember when you get on the field you have to learn how to use certain technologies which you'll be asked how to communicate so even though in classroom they will tell you it's not competition but on the field it is which is something you have to consider when you are making that choice. So, like I said, September is here again. People are actually eager considering what they will choose as program. And most of you guys are looking forward to choosing medicine. But I'm here to tell you the fact about it. So, starting with number one. Basically, medicine is about sacrifice, right? Now, what happens is that if you are someone who don't like learning, basically reading, then I think that's not the best domain for you. Because imagine going for class in the morning. Well, my class happened to happen in the morning and then in the evening. So we do about eight hours of class in the first semester and second semester to fourth semester after which there are a lot of things that happen. If you guys really want to know how my school is in details, I mean, I can do some videos about it. I, I think I've done a video on this channel. Just look, look, it's somewhere in the videos. Well, so basically you have to learn a lot. Me per se, I wake up when I was in my first year, I wake up and learn. I go to class if I want to because it's actually not obligatory to go to class. And you would have to learn and learn and learn. And what is annoying about learning is that you learn a lot of things, you forget a lot of things. So if you are ready to learn, I think it's a good thing for you because you would have to sacrifice a lot of things. And there again, medicine is actually the basic. The basic must be solid. If your foundation is really weak, I mean, your physiology, your biochemistry, your anatomy is very weak. Then there is nothing you are going to do when you get into the higher classes. So, and that is when it's even tougher. So you have to sacrifice a lot for it. And when you are getting higher, you can have time for other things as well. Secondly, you know, medicine is structured in a way that you have to learn a lot of things. When you can see the human body, as much as small it is, there are a lot of things that are embedded, you know, down from physiology up to psychology. A whole lot of things are embedded in the body. That's why you have to study for that long. So if you are someone who is worried about learning and forgetting, then I think you might end up being depressed because, you know, you learn a lot of things and you forget almost half of it. So when this happens to you and you are not strong mentally, you might end up giving up. So that is why it's really important and necessary to be mentally strong and readily prepared to, you know, have this thing go through you as well as you go through it. So that is number two for you. So you have to be psychologically prepared. Thirdly, you feel like you know nothing when you start going to medical school, you know. Whatever you've learned from secondary school becomes like you've learned nothing because 
every day there are new things added and every day from what i said previously you forget about things so you feel like you just learned it and it makes you feel like you are dumb but in actual sense you are not it's about accepting the fact that you are not dumb that will keep you going so when you are getting into this domain please do well to accept the fact that you are not dumb and so yeah that's that for number three number four has to do with boring i mean medicine is very very boring you know imagine waking up you have to sit on your ass learn for some number of hours only for you to forget it again and you have to learn the same thing it's just like doing the same thing over and over again and it gets boring you know because literally you don't learn everything do but you know what happens is that it's the first day that looks boring but when you are you start going to hospital you realize that you are applying whatever you've learned in class it gets interesting so if you are not prepared to be bored then <laughs> medicine is not lively you know it's all boring you know imagine doing histology naming things that you know has no I mean, sense is just named like that. And you have to also, you know, have it in your mind like that. It's boring. You forget about it. Learn it again. You forget about it. You learn it again. It's, it's, it's everyday boring. And lastly, it has to do with money. I would definitely have to talk about this, right? Now, if you are looking forward to earning money from the work you do, you know, buying mansions, buying, I mean, your dream car, whatever, I think maybe you should add something to it. Maybe YouTube. So me, my aim, one would say that money is actually the root of all evil. People don't want to talk about it, but I keep saying that money is really important. So that's why I add a YouTube channel to the fact that I'm a medical student because I want to earn more. So I'm asking from you guys to help me earn more. Just subscribe to the channel. So then again, if you are into medicine just to make money you can make the money then you have to do a lot of stuff you know you have to sacrifice a lot instead of working for the government maybe you work part-time at a private hospital you have your own hospital that you can make money but if the main aim is to work for the government and make money then you've chosen the wrong domain you have to think about it so basically that has been it and i hope you guys have learned a lot of a lot from it you should be ready to be bored you should also have the mindset that you learn and forget. And then you have to sacrifice a lot for it, especially the first year. And it has to do with what? Money. If you have in mind that you are there to, for the money, then you have to change your mind. And then don't think brilliant students are the ones doing medicine. Everybody can do medicine. Only if you are ready for it. just these few things I've said. I know there are a lot of stuff. You can add yours in the comment section. I mean, your experience, if you're a medical student, just put your experience in the comment section and then a lot of people will appreciate it. So that people will not make the wrong choices, you know? It's very, very important. You should think about life. You should think about how long you are studying for and all sorts of... I, I mean, I can't put all these things together in one video, right? So this is just some aspect of my life and my option. I mean, not my opinion. So whatever your opinion is, just put it in the comment section and a lot would appreciate and they will really appreciate it i don't want to talk much i'm blabbing at this point i'm asking from you guys is like this video if you enjoyed it gives it a thumbs up i mean and leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so this has been it see you guys in the next one